Hey Jonesy Babes and Anonymous Jonesy Babes, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Let's go ahead and get into it. I want to know about this paternity test you got going on. I'm not sure when the results are going to be out, but she did take the test. Let's talk about it. Gypsy Rose Blanchard's ex-husband Ryan Anderson has questioned her strange desire to get a pre-birth paternity test for her unborn child. The 33-year-old who filed for divorce from Anderson in April confirmed that she took a pre-birth paternity test this week to prove the father of her unborn child is her current boyfriend, Ken Erger. The move prompted Anderson to take the social media to weigh in on his ex-decision, telling his 717,000 TikTok followers that he had no doubts about Erger being the baby's father. I've never once questioned who the baby daddy was, Anderson said. I never once said, I'm going to make a fuss about it or I'm going to prevent this or do that. I never said anything like that. I've always said, guys, it's not my baby. Now, Anderson, he's a Louisiana middle school special education teacher. He said it's sad he found out that Gypsy was getting a test through online outlets and that the couple is just trying to cash in. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think he has a point? Now they're going to probably sell the results. Surprise, surprise. They already know. I put money that they already know who the baby daddy is, he said. I just would have waited until the baby was born and make it a simple swab instead of having a procedure. Hmm. I get where he's coming from. The soon-to-be first-time mom underwent a non-invasive test that collected DNA from her blood as well as DNA from Erka via a cheek swab. Gypsy's probably already had that procedure done, Anderson said in his video. You wouldn't tell TMZ about it unless you knew for a fact already who the baby daddy already was. So, Ken, congratulations. You're still a home wrecker, in my opinion, but that is your baby. I've never thought that. Gypsy knows that. Now, the news outlet has reached out to Gypsy, Gypsy's representatives, for comment. I'm not sure if they heard anything that, but they did reach out. In an unusual twist of fate, Anderson could still be listed as the father of Gypsy's child on the baby's birth certificate due to Louisiana law which states that if the mother has been divorced for less than 300 days at the time of birth, the ex-husband or, or the husband is the presumed father unless a paternity test proves otherwise. Uh, I don't think I like that law, to be honest. Now, Gypsy, she shared her news of being pregnant on YouTube in July. Blanchard and Erker met through a pen pal program while Blanchard was serving a 10-year sentence for the second-degree murder of her mother, Claudine Didi Blanchard. The duo got engaged in 2018, but went their separate ways shortly afterwards. Blanchard went on to strike up a romance with Anderson. Their romance blossomed as they began regularly writing to each other while Blanchard was incarcerated. The pair were married in a jailhouse ceremony at Missouri's Correctional Center in July of 2022. I don't think Gypsy really loved that man. I'm talking about Ryan. I don't think Gypsy really loved Ryan. I think she did that so that he could take care of her while she was in jail, like send money and stuff like that. But I don't think she was really in love with him, to be honest. And I'm not sure if she said that in any of her interviews. If you guys remember if she even mentioned that in her interviews when she got out, let me know in the comment section. Now, Gypsy was released from prison in December of 2023, and she split from Anderson, 30, who was 38 years old, three months later. She filed for divorce in April. Now, shortly after the separation, the convicted murderer rekindled her romance with Erger, Ken Erger. Their baby is expected to be delivered or be born in January of 2025. 
since Gypsy been out of jail, honey, it's been nonstop drama with her. Okay? Her name and face need to be next to the word drama because, honey, she is full of it. Now, as far as Ryan Anderson is concerned, at this point, he doesn't have anything else to do with it. It's not his baby. I don't think it's his baby. He knows it's not his baby. But, you know, there is that Louisiana law. And to be honest, I don't think he wants his name on that birth certificate. You know, but hopefully when the results come back, it will change all of that. So um, I guess I will update you guys when the results are back because the test was just done a couple of days ago. So I don't think they're in. But anyway, you guys talk to me in the comment section and I'll talk to you guys later.